has the president considered replacing Powell as chairman, keeping him on the board of governors, but replacing him as chairman? No. No, to my knowledge, to my knowledge, no. Um, by the way, it would be impossible to ask. You could, you could, Jay Powell's a friend of mine. I don't even want to go down this road, but um, a Fed chair can only be removed for cause. That's uh, maybe from the Federal board. Reserve Board, but could you install a different chairman? Um, I don't think so. It's a four-year term. I, I'd have to look at the archives on that, but I think it's a four-year term. But no, we're not, the president has said we're not going there. He has said that. Um, look. Is I, it independent? Has the president ever called Chairman Powell that you know of and said, please don't raise the rates? Not yet. No. Um, president, you know, a successful businessman and investor knows a lot about this. He's giving his opinion. He's giving his opinion. You know, Greenspan's book just came out, and Alan said, you know, one way or the other, talking, notes, phone calls, presidents are always giving the Fed advice. Um, President Trump has not made the call, phone call. But he believes, or he's concerned, that the Fed is um, moving its target rate up uh, too high and too rapidly. That's his view. By the way, a lot of distinguished economists hold that view. Has Chairman okay. Powell, though, ever called you up and said, Larry, this is too much, this public pressure? I have lunch with Chairman Powell each month. And, uh, you know, we swap anecdotes and stories. I was just going to say that I believe the Fed and the administration has <laughs> similar goals. That is to say, non-inflationary growth. And I think that over time that will become more and more apparent. And I also will applaud Chairman Powell for breaking out of the mold, you know, low unemployment is bad. It's going to cause inflation. No, it's not. No, it's, I mean, if the dollar collapses, that'll cause inflation. Could low the president install a dove on the Fed at some point? Well, there, um, I believe there are still two appointments to be made, okay? But I don't want to conjecture on that. I don't want to get it. Well, why not put a dove in there? Well, look, I don't want to conjecture on so it's, that. So the president may be open to it. It's someone with a different mindset. I, I don't even want to put words in his mouth on any of that stuff. That's hypotheticals. You know I hate hypotheticals. But I'm, I'm just saying, Jay Powell has said publicly in his speeches that these old Fed models, you know, more people working in low employment is bad. He doesn't buy it. He said that publicly. He said we don't know what the neutral interest rate is. He said that publicly. Um, he said we don't know steady state inflation. Why does it have to go above two? So I think he and the president share important goals. That's what I think. But the president has an opinion about this. He's not pushing the Fed. He's not um, uh, trying to drive through their independence. He, he said that. He's not saying change. He's not making calls, this and that. He, he's, he's not disrupting their independence. He has said that several times, and I believe that myself. He's just um, giving his opinion.